kinks it is nappy food all up on your screen and today is a that nap life video i'm coming at y'all with a whole new look i don't know who she is we're gonna find out y'all remember this wig right here it was cute it was but i gave a little makeover mm -hmm, she sure did <laughs> if you want to know how i got here keep watching happy food checking in lego <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Team Kinks, for another wonderful Sunday. If you've never seen me all up on your screen, thanks for clicking play, and I hope you like today's video. Big shout out to Her Giving Hair for sponsoring today's video. This is the Curls Always Popping unit that I've had before. I decided to take it from old to new, and revamping this unit was a lot of fun, y'all. So let me show you how I got here. All right, so this is, I'm going to go through every item that I used and starting with the coloring, of course, right? This is my first time using the L'Oreal High Color Highlights and I love it. It was easy, simple. I didn't have to do all this bleaching first and this first and that. It was just already dandy, but too. Hi, easy peasy. So I have the red and I'm going to use the 40 developer because this is the color I want to pop the most. Okay. I also have magenta. I'm going to use 30 developer on this one because I want it to pop, but I definitely don't want it to overshadow the red, which is the color I want to pop the most. Okay. And then I also have deep arborn. Now I'm going to use, I, I'm, I'm showing you 30 here, but I, I think I ended up using the 40 because I didn't want the deep arborn to be too deep. I still wanted to show. So I ended up using 40 instead of the 30. Okay. And I have these two different bows. I love the first one that I'm pointing to right now because it has two different sections for me to put two different type of colors. I also picked up this cute little whisk that I got from Sally's makes it really easy to mix. Now I, mean, I actually don't use this just for hair coloring. I use that whisk when I'm also like making my little hair concoctions and yeah. And then I also of course have applicator brushes. You definitely want to have this. It makes it for easier process and easier blending when you are applying the hair color. And you definitely want to have some gloves, okay? Protect your fingers as much as you can. Side note, y'all know your girl is not a professional at all. So this is not a how-to color. I'm just showing you how I color and how I've learned is just like a lot of us. YouTube, okay? <laughs> this is what I picked up. Those that like to color, you might've known this tip already, but this tip changed the game for me. I used to always, when I have to color my hair or do any type of hair coloring and the, and the color is in those tubes, Normally, I will unscrew the top and then poke the little hole, you know, and squeeze it out. But when I saw someone cut the bottom off instead and then squeeze out the color paint or the coloring, yo, I was like, genius, gene, yes, okay? It's so different. You get all of your product. If you color hair and you didn't know that tip, maybe you did, you know what I'm saying? I'd be late to the game a lot of times, but it's okay as long as I get there, all right? So I hope that helps somebody who probably didn't know. Okay. So yeah, I'm mixing all my little colors, separate bowls, separate sections, you know, just keep it all clean, all chilled. Um, at the end of the day, they're going to all be mixed up together anyway, but it's when it comes to applying, I don't want to apply it all mixed. Hope that makes sense. Anywho, add it in my developers, 40 and 30, and then I'm just going to mix them all up. And once it's done, I let it set for a little bit. That's how it looks. This is ready to be applied. Hey. That is the Curls Always Popping Unit. It has been through many hard trials, but it's been holding it down for at least a year. You know what I'm saying? But now it's about to get that long awaited, very much needed makeover. I picked a short wig because um, I noticed I don't really have that many short wigs that has coloring. And I also noticed I have nothing in my collection that is red. Y'all, I'm such a 1B person. Like I'm so loyal to the color 1B because that's my natural hair color. When I'm wearing these wigs, although, you know, I'm wearing a wig, I still try to give some type of element of natural, which is probably one reason why I'm always choosing natural wigs. Anyway, I always gear towards, um, working with companies that are natural hair based or getting wigs, at least that gives me some, some type of curl to it, some type of kink to it, some type of yackiness. Cause I can relate to it. You know what I'm saying? That's a little side note. All right. As you see, I'm just kind of applying in sections. Um, at the bottom was, is the deep arbor. So all the, I'm going to say like maybe halfway deep arbor. And then I started mixing the magenta and the red 
And I also do this slashing technique. Y'all see right here. I think it's called slashing. Maybe it's called feathering. Anywho, this gives a ombre um, result. So it eliminates any harsh line. So um, yeah, and then after I've done all of that, right, after I got all the color on there, I take the wig brush and I just kind of brush through, make sure there's no harsh lines. I want to make sure that everything is still, like they still look separate, but they all blend together. Hope that makes sense. Covered it with a plastic bag and I think I let that set for like 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm, sure did. One hour later, it is ready for rinsing shampooing, deep conditioning, rinsing again, and now it's ready to dry. Ooh, I can see that color coming through already. All right, so this is the part that had a lot of fun, the styling. Hey, yeah, hi, hi, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt what you was watching, but that subscription button is still red. I, I mean, the only thing I want red is my hair, not that subscription button, okay? So please, join the team, y'all. Join Team Kings, hit the subscription button, make sure it's gray, and hit that little bell right next to it so you are notified the next time I'm all up on your screen, okay? Thanks in advance. All right, let's get back, because it's good. Okay, so this is it, all dry. That, this is exactly what I had in mind. All right, I am ready to wear this sucker. Yeah, come on, girl, and all right. Uh, uh, so yeah, let me, you know what? That front is not agreeing with my life right now. So I'm gonna try a little mousse and see if I can get the front to define. And I started to see that it was working. It was defining. The curl was, you know, coming through. You see, I'm like, okay. But then after I played around with it a little bit more, I was like, mm, it's still not, you know, what I am feeling in my spirit. I wanted something different. So what I decided to do was Bantu knot it. I'm gonna Bantu knot the entire wig. Mm -hmm. Okay, so boom, there you go. And we're just gonna see how it goes. Will it come out curly? Of course, it's been too nice. Will I be comfortable with it? I don't know, but we're gonna make it work because we are pushing the limits today. We are going out of our comfort zone, okay? That's the type of vibes that I'm giving right now in my life, being intentional and going out of my comfort zone. I let this dry for two days. Yep, sure did, two days. Don't judge me, it is what it is, okay? And it is ready to be taken down. So we're gonna tug, I mean, there we go. All right. So what I did was two strand twisted and then bent two knotted it. Now this first one that came down at the ends, I look a little frizzy. I'm a little schizzard. I'm hoping it's not how it is throughout the whole thing. I said, let me put on some oil. Maybe that will make it, you know, come down a little bit. I put a little oil and yeah, that definitely helped. Okay. As I'm taking each section down, I'm going to separate it as well. And I'm just gonna kind of like that rule I talked about in my two strand twist video. Your hair, when you're taking it down, it'll kind of show you where it naturally wants to separate. It'll show you lines already like separating on its own. And that is where you want to separate whenever you want to fluff and tough and buff your hair up and all that kind of great stuff. So I'm kind of following that same logic with this Bantu, this two strand twist Bantu knot out. When I was taking this down, I thought to myself, are you sure you're going to like this on you? Because I don't even like Bantu knot out on my actual hair. Like, I just don't like the look on my actual hair. But maybe with it having this pop of color. Again, this is me talking to myself in my head. But maybe with this color, you might be feeling it. Girl, just embrace it. Open yourself up to it, girl. And that's what she's doing right here. Mm -hmm. She didn't open herself all the way up. Look at her. Look at her. She thinks she cute or whatever. All right, so I went ahead and put a little makeup on my face and bam, there she go. Ha, my woman, yeah, boom, boom, my everything. Yes, that's what she looking like. Bride price has just went up, okay? I'm really liking this color on me. You bet, oh, you better get it, girl. It's the color that I'm really like. I like the curls on me too. Like I, I like it more than I <laughs> expected. But the color, I feel like is what's really making it work for me as a whole. Good quality hair good results okay this wig is so fluffy flowy talk about a major revamping glory to god i thank god for the skill set to do this to this hair to this wig i absolutely love the fact that i was even able to do that to this wig because you know some wigs when you've had it for a while it becomes so stiff and even hard for you to style but not this hair giving hair unit so shout out to that i love how it took the color and i'm not sure if my lens is really picking up how this red is popping i hope y'all can really see how well this hair giving hair unit 
really took to the color. It's so beautiful. I normally don't, I normally shy away from curly looks, y'all, but this right here, she rocking. She about to go out, I'm about to go run some errands, and I'm gonna be, I might as well give myself a new name, cause it's a whole new look. Who should I, what should I call myself? I look like a Toyasi. Toyasi? Nah, I'm not feeling. I look like a Faye. Faye, Faye, Faye. So me and Faye, we about to go hang out, be around Houston, Texas, keeping social distancing on deck, making sure our mask is flushed to the skin, okay? If you wanna see the fullness of how the wig was prior to, check out this video right here when I did my first impressions of it. Now we have come to today's Snapchat question. Do you play around with hair color? If you do, let me know your two favorite colors you think you look banging in, okay? If you like me, you might play with color like here and there, but not like, but not like that. Are you willing to try it now? If so, what's the first color you're gonna try? Let me know in the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Also, if you're bored during the week, Come on and hang out with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that, all, all, all of that. And I will catch you on the next one, y'all. By the grace of God, this chocolate skin will be back on your screen again, okay? Until then, remember, y'all, in order to have healthy mind, body, soul, everything, you got to do healthy things consistently, like not just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mess up Thursday and Friday, but get back on track on Sunday, no, consistently. I know it's hard, trust me. I know, but keep in mind that when you're not consistent with doing certain things, that causes a setback. Setbacks are setups for a comeback. So make your comeback, y'all, by staying consistent with doing healthy things, okay? Happy food checking out, deuces. My name is Faye. You can't just talk to me. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful.